Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Seals and I'm back for our next science lab. So the past couple weeks we've been we have been talking about different ways that we can describe objects. So one week we talked about how we can describe objects by their state, which means whether they're a solid or a liquid. And remember we made the oobleck and then decided based <clears throat> excuse me, based on its characteristics whether it was a solid or a liquid. Last week, we talked about another way we can describe objects, which is by describing their temperature, which remember means how hot or cold something is. This week, we are going to continue um, discussing how to describe objects, but this week we are going to be discussing how we can change objects by heating them up or cooling them down, okay? So, your target says I can compare changes in materials caused by heating and cooling. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and what that means and what sorts of things we can change. And then we're going to do a fun experiment. All right. So changes caused by heating and cooling. How can we change a solid to a liquid. So think about something you know that's a solid. How would you change it to a liquid? Any ideas? Any thoughts? Some solids change to liquids when heat is added. This is called melting. So think about an ice cube. When, he, when an ice cube, which is a solid, is heated up, it melts, it turns into water, which is a liquid. That's called melting. Can you think of some things that can melt? So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds or minute to brainstorm and talk to somebody around you Think of some things, use your background knowledge, think of some things that you have seen melt before. Maybe you accidentally melted them by leaving them in your hot car. Maybe you saw them melt when you left them out on the counter. Maybe you've done another experiment in another class where you melted something. See what you can think of. And then when you're ready, you can restart the video. Here are some things I thought of. Now, these are not the only things that can melt. There are many, many more. These are just some common ones. Ice, like I said, chocolate, butter, cheese, crayons, candles, and marshmallows. All of these things can melt. How do we change a liquid to a solid? So we just said that we can change some solids to liquids by heating them up or by melting them. How would we change a liquid to a solid? So think about water, which is a liquid. What do I have to do to that water to, tur to turn it into a solid, like an ice cube? Any ideas? Some liquids change to solids when heat is taken away. So you're removing the heat. And this is called freezing. So we're not adding cold, we are removing the heat. And that causes some liquids to freeze and become solids. Here's an example. If you have one of these ice cube trays at your house and this is how you make your ice, you take the ice cube tray, you pour water in it, which is a liquid. You put it in the freezer for a few hours and then you have ice cubes, which are a solid. So the liquid, we removed all the heat and it became a solid. That's called freezing. Here's another example. This is how popsicles are made. You take your juice, you pour it into your little popsicle stand, popsicle maker, put it in the freezer for a few hours to remove all the heat, and then you have popsicles to enjoy, which are a solid. Okay, so we have liquids, we're removing the heat, they become solids. So we're gonna do an experiment today. Now, I know that I just um, talked to you about 
melting and freezing because we are talking about how we can change materials by heating them up and cooling them off. However, our experiment is just going to involve heating today. We're going to be heating up some objects, okay? So here's our experiment. We're going to take six objects. They're all solids. We're going to add heat to them to melt them, and we're going to see which one of them melts the fastest. So we're looking to see which one of them changes from a solid to a liquid the fastest. I'll know it has changed from a solid to a liquid when it starts to lose its shape. Remember a couple weeks ago with the Oobleck experiment, we talked about how um, solids have their own shape and keep their own shape and liquids do not and they spread out and take the shape of their container. So when I see some of these solids start to spread out and lose their shape, I will know that they're melting. They're, they're changing from solids into liquids. All right, so here are the six things we're going to melt. We have a marshmallow, butter, a crayon, a candle, chocolate chip, and ice. So before we do the experiment, I want you to make a hypothesis. You're going to predict the order that the objects will melt in. In other words, which of those six objects is going to melt first? Which one is going to melt second? Which one is going to melt third, fourth, fifth? And then which one do you think will melt last? Go ahead, share your hypothesis with somebody. If you would like to write that down, that's fine. But I want to know what what you predict what order do you think those objects were will melt in all right so here is the experiment i have filmed it and recorded it here for you so that we can watch what happens all right so let's see so here are the objects that we are going to be melting here's the marshmallow the butter the crayon the chocolate chip and the candle. I have them in a pot on a hot plate. Hot plate is a science tool that scientists use to heat things up. It kind of looks like your stove at home. Okay, so I haven't turned it on yet. Um, I need to still add one more object, which is the ice, but I'm waiting until the last minute. So what's going to happen is I'm gonna add the ice, then I am going to turn the hot plate on and then we are going to be watching to see which of these objects melt the fastest. All right, so let me get our ice. me a second to get a good piece of ice. All right, here we go. Here's our ice. So remember, we're talking about how heat, when we heat objects up, how it changes them. So I'm turning on the hot plate. I put it on about medium and we are going to watch. I noticed that the ice is already starting to melt. Remember, ice is a solid and one characteristic of solids is that, I'm going to move the candle, is that they have their own shape. Does that ice still have its own shape? It does not. It is already losing its shape and turning into a liquid. So solids are being heated up and turning into liquids. So the ice was our first thing to melt. If you put ice first, you got that one correct. It looks like the butter is our second thing to melt. Oops, trying to move this out of the way. There we go. The butter is our second thing to melt. It hasn't melted all the way yet, but the bottom is getting soft. It's losing its shape. It's moving around. It's starting to turn from a solid to a liquid. All right, so we have ice first, then we have our butter. Let's see what's going to be our third object to melt. <clears throat> Look at the crayon. The crayon is starting to melt. It's starting to turn from a solid to a liquid. It's losing its shape. It's moving around. Look at our candle. Candle is starting to melt. So we're changing these objects by adding heat to them. They're changing from solids 
into liquids. And remember, this is called melting. So the ice was first, then the butter, then the crayon was third, the candle was fourth. The two objects we have left are the chocolate chip and the marshmallow. So we will continue to watch for, excuse me, for a little bit longer to see which of these objects melts fifth and then last. Do you see the steam coming up? That's another change that's caused by heat. When liquids are heated up, they turn into a gas and that's called evaporation. So all of this water that has melted from the ice is evaporating. It's turning into a gas and it's rising up, creating those bubbles. That's a gas. So we're seeing two changes happening from the heat. We're seeing melting and we're seeing evaporation. We're seeing solids change into liquids and liquids changing into gas. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to Give it a couple more seconds and then I'm going to poke the chocolate chip and the marshmallow to see if either one of them has started to melt or lose their shape. Oh, sorry guys. Our video production quality is not the best, but you know, we do what we can. All right, so look at the chocolate chip. The chocolate chip has started to melt. It hasn't completely melted and turned into a liquid like some of these other objects, but it has gotten softer and started to, <clears throat> excuse me, lose its shape. I'm turning the hot plate off now. I don't want anything to burn. And let's look at the marshmallow. Ooh, look at the marshmallow. The marshmallow has started to melt as well. Okay, so what we have here is we have six solids that we have added heat to, and some of them have already turned into liquids. Others have started to, but not completely. So we're observing changes caused by heat. The order that these objects melted was the ice melted first, the butter melted second, the crayon was third, the candle was fourth, the chocolate chip was fifth, and the marshmallow was last. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that experiment. Remember, we were comparing changes in materials caused by heating and cooling. We saw two changes caused by heating. We saw the solids, when they were heated up, they turned into liquids, which is called melting. We also saw some of the liquids, as they continued to be heated up, ch um, change into gases, which is called evaporation. And then we also talked about how we can turn liquids into solids by removing the heat, which is called freezing. I hope that you guys had fun and I will see you next time. Bye.